Hi, I'm Jen Royal with the Boston Herald, and welcome to another edition of Talk of the Town, sponsored by Sports World of Peabody, New England's largest sports memorabilia store. All right, we're switching things up a bit. Last week we spoke to Celtics rookie Phil Pressey, and we're sticking with the basketball theme. I am here at Boston College, and I am getting ready to speak to three impressive young athletes. I'm here with junior co-captain Ryan Anderson and Ryan I know that you're from California and you had lots of options when it came to picking your college are you regretting choosing BC because it's so cold right now <laughs> uh, it's been a long winter for us but I'm definitely looking forward to getting a chance to go back home after after the season's over and uh, get some nice sunshine but it's been a long season it's been a lot of fun for us and I've really enjoyed my time at BC. All right, one of the things you wanted to work on was your three-point shot. Uh, as you are now a junior here at Boston College, how is that going for you? Uh, I think it's made good strides from when I was a freshman. I, I just some mechanical things that I had to fix. Um, it's still a work in progress, obviously, but uh, I think I made some good improvements. All right, Gatorade uh, Player of the Year, Los Angeles Times Player of the Year when you were in high school. What's your pressure for you coming into college knowing that you've won such prestigious awards out in California? Uh, I don't think it was too much of pressure. I think coming this far away, not many people even really knew any of the accolades that I gained in high school. So I think it was just a, a great opportunity to come far away from home and uh, try to start something new. When do you start thinking NBA draft? Have you already started thinking about it? Uh, I think whenever you're done playing college basketball is when you start. Uh, I'm still trying to f focus on getting a winning program here and trying yeah. to win a lot more games so right now that's mainly where my focus is at. There's been talk about you being undersized as a power forward. Uh, there's already blogs out there you may be getting drafted in the second round, maybe going undrafted. Do you pay attention to any of that? Do you think about it? Uh, I When it first started to happen it was something that was really cool and something to think about but uh, right now it's just really focused on trying to win games because I know if we win games and you, you get a higher draft, so I mean all kinds of individual stuff happens for you after you win games. How nice is it to have um, a friend here, even though I'm sure you've made lots of friends here at Boston College, but to have a familiar face while you go through this, this experience? Yeah, um, we can relate a lot and just talk about uh, missing home and missing yeah. the sun. I told him, we haven't, we haven't seen the sun in like three it's months. It's been brutal. Um, and uh, we're really pale right now, so uh, <laughs> trying to get some sun when we go back home. We all are, trust me. Um, I know that uh, Ryan wanted to work on his three-point shot. For you, it was the jump shot. Mm -hmm. um, have you been doing that this year? Do you feel like it's improving? Yeah, I've actually made uh, great strides in my shot. Um, um, so yeah, I, I told him that's my role on the team to, yeah. to shoot it. So um, that's what I've been doing. Are you thinking draft? Do you guys think draft? Um, well, right now, I mean, I'm not really having a uh, good enough season to make it to the draft. Mm -hmm. or, so um, not really. Um, maybe overseas, maybe maybe you're early. Yeah. yeah. Um, Talk about this season, what you guys need to do to improve your game overall. I know it's been a while since Boston College has uh, brought home a big trophy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> offensively, we're good. I mean, we have all the offensive weapons in the world. So it's, it comes down to the defensive end. Um, we've got to be tougher on the defensive end. We've got to rebound. And just our overall toughness. And once we get that, you know, we have enough talent. we just got to put it together. You are probably one of the most likely to go into the draft or to play in the NBA, but academic-wise here at Boston College, you pick the right school if that doesn't happen for you. Yeah, exactly, yeah, Boston College is well known for you know their academics and just the overall experience at BC, so I know it kind of <laughs> sets you up for the future pretty well. <laughs> All right, talking about the future, are you thinking draft? Have you started? When do you start? Uh, I haven't started yet, obviously. You know, you always think about it whenever yeah. you go out there and you see scouts at your game and everything, but. I like to just, you know, take it step by step and just finish up the season and after that, you know, think about it right after that ACC dream, tournament. Dream come true, play for the NBA? Yeah, that would be yeah. a dream come true, yes. <laughs> but also, you mentioned the tournament, uh, something that Boston College hasn't been successful in uh, in some time now. Uh, how much would it mean to you to be part of an epic victory here at Boston College? Uh, it, would, it would be amazing, obviously, and just having a group of guys and just doing it with this group of guys. and. I feel like we showed some signs during the year. We didn't we didn't gel together too well this year, but I don't know. Those tournaments, it's all about you know who gets hot. And, you right. Know, we beat the number one team in the nation a few weeks ago, so you know everything's possible. Uh, Olivia, you were one of two players uh, last year in your freshman year to play all 33 games. Was that good for you? How much did that prepare you for this season? Uh, it helped me a lot, just individually, just you know getting that experience and you yeah. know throughout just college basketball. 
you know, most freshmen don't get that opportunity of playing that many minutes. So I was kind of just ahead of everybody else and just kind of, you know, learned how to play through mistakes and got yeah. a lot better over. Um, you are the first person uh, since Troy Bell um, to get Conference Freshman of the Year honors. Troy Bell, of course, went on to uh, play for the Grizzlies. Yeah. Do you think about that? Uh, I'm pretty. I'm pretty <laughs> good friends with uh, you know Troy Bell. We kind of you know social media. And mm -hmm. We kind of keep in touch. So it's always you know he did an amazing job at BC and just kind of mm -hmm. let you know left his mark here. So I you don't know no, to be compared to those type of guys and you know there's obviously a, a few other players that came through BC is just an honor. If you weren't uh, or if you don't become an NBA player, what uh, does the future hold for you? I would probably you know try to. Oh no. I Could don't you know. live without basketball? I don't think so. Yeah. I always have to be involved with someone right. you know, related to basketball. My brother obviously loves, you know, working people out, so you know, he works out me especially, but even back home he works out a lot of younger kids that just look up to me. So right. I don't know. I'm not thinking about that <laughs> yet, but I don't know, hopefully it's basketball related. Yeah, a couple more years here at BC. Yeah, a couple Focused more. on that. Yeah.